UPS arrived early this morning carrying a 57 pound box of happiness to the door. I'm sure his back didn't believe it was inundated with happiness. However, the smile on my face lit the entire day. The Canon Image Class M-F634CDW laser printer is not a spontaneous purchase, but an unplanned one. Unfortunately, two of my present printers are needing new consumables. It's less expensive to replace with a new printer than to purchase supplies. Sad to say, but it is true. This printer will replace a brother monochrome and a brother color laser printer. Saving money, freeing up space, and coordinating better cosmetically with my computer setup. As the Canon Image Class MF634CDW laser printer is black and white, the shade of white, however, has a slight grayish hue, not a pure white. This video will show the Canon Image Class MF634CDW laser printer packaging as it arrived in excellent shape via UPS Ground Express. During this 20 minute film, I will unbox the printer, remove all the tape securing it, and set the Canon Image Class laser printer up with its sporty 5 inch touchscreen using the Wi Fi interface. Doing so prevents one cable connection to AC power only. It's recommended having two people maneuver this printer into its location. Should you have any strength issues, it would be wise to do so. Conveniently enough, this printer is under 50 pounds with all its starter supply cartridges. I'm more than capable of transporting printer to its reserve position. Unboxing diagrams are printed topside on box. Its clever design facilitates easy, fast, one-person opening and removal. Although the Canon Image Class MF634CDW laser printer sports a wealth of nice features, some will go unused by me for the most part. Example, fax, document scanner, and flatbed scanner. They may be convenient to have occasionally, but for majority of time, I will not make use of it. Let's get to the unboxing. I'm using a utility knife to cut packaging tape, opening flaps. I see two hand pulls stated on the box. I'll use them to remove the outer boxing. Returning, I open remaining flaps and cut tape on both sides of the pack. And let them drop onto the floor. Here's the getting started manual. This is the mystery plastic. It's some type of cover. I don't know what it goes to. So I have perused the manual. The manual shows it comes in the box without any labeling for it. After re-examining the retail box, I discover it's the legal paper dust cover for the paper tray. Here we have a phone cable for fax function and a heavy duty AC power cable. Continuing removing styrofoam from a round printer. No, I do not believe anyone is stupid. Visually impaired people may need extra information. To understand what is happening in the video,
Removing plastic bag is the last step with actual package. There are several areas securing the printer itself with deep orange tape. I am in the process of removing it. I love the appearance of the Canon Image Class MF634CDW laser printer. It's not a huge boxy shape and the design creates an illusion. The printer is smaller than it actually is. The measurements are roughly 17 inches wide by 18 inches deep by 15 inches deep. First letters of the product model number stands for multifunction. The last three letters, C stands for color, D stands for duplex, and W stands for wire. Let's see what we got here holding it. There's a little tab. Flatbed scanners are really nice. They do make it difficult sometimes to know exactly how to position it on there, but you can always flip or rotate once you scan it into the computer. There's a piece of tape back right there.
Where's the scanner? Okay, that's the scanning unit. Shelves a little in the way. I won't be using that right away, so that's fine. Okay. Now, sporting a generous five inch touchscreen pack this. with features film. that are highly intuitive. Keep the screen clean. The touchscreen yeah. tilts forward and backwards. I mean, However, on. it does not swivel. Maybe it starts period. Up or this is one of my cons. That keeps the screen fresh. The touchscreen is accurate so and responsive. I noted prior to purchase, some individuals were disappointed in the touchscreen, stating its calibration appeared to be off. I have not had that experience yet. USB cable to remove. I will be using the USB cable, so I'm just going to leave that there for the time being. And I think that's pretty much it with that. The other con is the quantity of paper held by the paper tray. 150 sheet capacity is livable, but 250 sheets would have been much nicer. I don't print as much as I once did, therefore it's quite possible the sheet count will be more than accommodate my needs. I will reserve my judgment. On the plus side, Cartridges for the Canon Image Class ML634CDW laser printer each contain their own individual image drums. Therefore, when changing out toner cartridges, you get a fresh imaging drum. The downside to this is cartridges do cost more. Laser printers cost more up front but have better savings over time compared to ink jam printers. When I own ink jam printers, I never bought a new inkjet cartridge. I merely replaced printers with new inkjet printers sporting full ink cartridges. Ink cartridges are just way overpriced and are not worth the money. And inkjet printers tend to be a lot cheaper and when they come with full standard cartridges it is better to buy a whole new printer. Save yourself a bit. Overall, laser printers are the best investment for your hard-earned dollars. They are workhorses that require very little maintenance comparatively. For the longevity of my printers, I use only Hammer Mill 24-pound bright white acid-free standard laser paper. This brand of paper and weight is significantly less paper dust, which is one of the many causes of paper jams. Yes. Hammer mill costs a little more than other papers. However, a little prevention now may save your arts tremendously later. Not only financially, but from costs associated with downtime.